Hello everyone and welcome to the Epic Flight Academy. Today we want to talk about weather services. Now there's an old saying in weather, if you want to know what the weather is, look out the window. Now the reason that saying gained popularity is because we generally divide weather service products into two broad categories. Products that have been observed, those are in the past. And products that are being predicted in the future, and those of course are in the future. So what's happening right now? Look out the window. Hi everybody, this is the Private Pilot Ground School at the epic, beautiful new Smyrna Beach, Florida at the Epic Flight Academy, and my name is Mike Thompson. Now we want you to be very successful in this course and to do that you must remember three things. Number one, please be following EPIC's online learning program and in those online courses you're going to find a series of resources that go above and beyond what we're talking about online and in these videos. Secondly, please continue to watch these videos. These parallel the content of that online course. And thirdly, and just as important, you must review all of this material one-on-one -on -one with your flight instructor. Now, back to weather service products. So we know that we generally divide them into observed products. Those are products in the past and forecast products, those are products in the future. Sometimes we divide those forecast products into two types. We have the normal weather forecast products like terminal area forecast, area forecast, winds and temperatures aloft, and so on. And then we have the hazardous weather forecasts. Now, those of you that live in Florida are familiar with hurricanes. So hurricane advisories, other hazardous weather forecast products are air mets and sig mets, which we'll talk about in more detail, center weather advisories, etc. So to get started today, let's start looking at some of the observed products. Now today we want to talk about two observed products specifically because these are two of the most popular observed products. The first one is called a METAR. The METAR is an aviation routine weather forecast. What that means is the airport is looking at the local weather and is going to put it into a standardized meteorological format on an hourly basis, commonly known as a METAR. Now these METARs are lettered as they come out. So you might be listening to um, ATIS Information Alpha, and that would include the METAR for that hour. The next hour, it's going to be Bravo, the hour after that, Charlie, and etc. on down the phonetic alphabet. Now these aviation routine weather reports, or METARs, take on a standardized format. Now I'm going to walk you through this basic format and just highlight a few things. You can see that format here on the screen. This is the same uh, uh, figure that you're going to see in our online course. Notice that the first thing you see is the type of report. And it might say METAR or it might say SPECI. SPECI means a special report and it's coming out more frequently than on the hour if something that was meteorologically significant took place at that airport. So right after that type of report you're going to see the station identifier. For example, here you see KMLB. Now, K means it's an airport in the United States, and MLB is the three-letter identifier of that airport. Right after that, you're going to see the time of the report. Remember, the time is always given in Zulu time, or Greenwich Mean Time, or Universal Time Coordinated UTC time. 
right after the time we're going to see the wind. Now, a couple of things to remember about the wind. First of all, we speak about wind in terms of where it's coming from, not where it's blowing to, and we orient it to true north, not magnetic north. And you can see that here in our example. So if it says 080 at 20, that means it's from 080 degrees easterly, basically, at about 20 knots. If there are gusts, you'll see a little g, and it'll talk about uh, the gust level and gust factor. After the winds comes the visibility. In a METAR, unlike most everything else in aviation that's in nautical miles, visibility is in statute miles. Then we might see a weather phenomenon with some type of qualifier or descriptor in front of it. A typical descriptor might be a minus sign for light or a plus sign for heavy. And a weather phenomenon would be something like um, precipitation, fog, mist, rain. So here you see in our example we have um, the sky condition showing the amount, height, type, and vertical visibility. So the weather phenomenon says a plus TSRA, that means heavy, TS is thunderstorm, RA is rain. And then it's followed with the sky condition, and you can see SCT008, OVC, 12CB. What does all that mean? SCT means scattered, OVC means overcast, and those three numbers are in hundreds of feet. So that means we need to add two zeros at the end. So when we see SCT, that's a scattered cloud layer, 008, add two zeros, that means it's scattered at 800. OVC means overcast, one, two, add two zeros, that is 1,200 feet, and CB means there's a cumulonimbus cloud in the area. That's the thunderstorm with the heavy rain showers. Following the weather phenomenon and sky condition, as you can see in our example, you're going to see the temperature and dew point. Those are usually in Celsius. And here you see a temperature of 20, a dew point of 18, that's Celsius. Following that, you're going to see the altimeter. The altimeter setting is preceded by a large capital letter A. What do you think that stands for? And if you guessed altimeter, you got it. It's telling us that the altimeter setting at this station is 2995. That's 29.95 inches of mercury. After the altimeter setting, we're going to see remarks. A01, A02. Uh, in our example, we have um, um, RAB24. Well, remember RA is rain, and the B means began. Now, also, don't forget, these come out hourly. So what that RAB24 means is rain began at 24 minutes past the hour. And then finally it says SLP134. Now that is pressure in millibars, not in inches of mercury. So if you take a look at the large bold print at the bottom of our example, here's the whole example from start to finish. It is a METAR. It is at the MLB airport. It is on the 12th day of the month at 2150 Zulu. The winds are 080 at 20, gusting to 38, that's in knots, with a one-half mile visibility, that's in statute miles. And then you can see heavy thunderstorm rain showers scattered at 800, overcast at 1,200 with cumulonimbus, temperature of 20, dew point 18, pressure 2995, remarks, rain began, 
24 inches past the hour and the current sea level pressure in millibars is 1013.4. So be sure to review this with your flight instructor. Now the second very popular observed report is called a pilot report. And you can see on the screen behind me, we sometimes abbreviate that as a pi rep, or we call them pi reps. Now, when these come out, they are coded with a UA, as in uniform alpha, or a UUA, uniform, uniform alpha. So a UA is a pilot report. A UUA is a special or an urgent pilot report when that pilot is reporting something potentially hazardous that everybody's going to want to know about right away. Now, if you take a look at our example, the sequence for a pilot report is shown here. It starts out with the location relative to the nearest nav aid, followed by the time, universal time coordinated, or Greenwich Mean Time, that's Zulu time. Then the altitude, the aircraft type, the sky cover, the in-flight visibility, temperature, wind, turbulence, icing, and any additional remarks. Oh my goodness, I hope you're not thinking to yourself, there's no way I'm ever going to give a pilot report. How would I ever remember all that? Okay, two things I need you to calm down for a second. Remember this. First of all, not every pilot report has all of those items. Secondly, all you really have to remember is PTA. PTA means position, time, and altitude. Now, when you give a pilot report to flight service or ATC, they're going to want to know your position, the current time, and your altitude. Of course, they're going to ask you what type of equipment you're flying. Well, I don't know about you, but I usually know the type of airplane I'm in, so that's easy. Okay, so all we really have to remember is PTA, and then look out the window and tell them what we see. So the second thing is what we see might not be everything on this list. Okay, there might not be sky cover and visibility and temperature and wind and turbulence and icing and remarks. It's just going to be what's out there right now. Maybe it's just sky cover. All right, so remember PTA and what do I see? That's the easy way to give pilot reports. And the reason I want you to remember that is because your fellow pilots, the FAA, and weather services want and need pilot reports. Please feel free to give those. Well, folks, we've been getting into weather service products, and this video was the first two, the most popular observed products, the METAR and the PIREP. Join us next time, and we'll see you then.